Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Deep Tarot. This is a short energy check-in for Earth signs for the coming week. I will do each sign individually. The timestamp will be in the description box. We saw this, so we're going to open it. Everything you need to know about the schedule of the channel is in the description box as well. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with all of you, and the energy could be vice versa. I'm going to tell you a short story, and you decide who is who in this story. If you are new, please subscribe and hit that notification button. So each time I post something new, you will be notified. And if you can hit like, share, and comment, thank you so much for doing that. Let's see, my dear, what we have here. The first card came, tower. It came like we saw it, but then it flipped, closing again. I believe this tower didn't happen yet. It's about to happen. And people here in this situation are feeling that tower. Somebody here is in love and they are ready to extend that cup of love, starting a story with someone. Now, I don't know if this tower is for somebody this individual used to be connected to and they will feel the energy of them leaving. Or this is the tower that will hit this, the other energy here when they will see this individual coming with this page of cups my feeling this is an old story coming back to life i don't want to open this till the end because i believe this will be the outcome somebody here was lying deceiving keeping secrets till the point that they let the other energy turn their back and left there was so many things hidden in this situation and one day maybe that was the tower in the past this energy felt that this individual is lying to them or maybe if not like they were deceiving the situation they were not honest sometimes people they don't lie they hide part of the truth this is lying my dear we don't have to put makeup on the situation. When there is a part of this truth you are hiding, that means you're lying to me because you are not giving me all the facts to make the right judgment and take the right decision. And I believe one day these hidden stories came to life and pushed this individual to leave. There is an energy of Maybe a twin flame situation or a very strong soulmate. This Ten of Cups is telling me here that these two people, they didn't forget about themselves. And I believe this individual was hiding things because they didn't want this individual to leave. This, I believe this is, this is this. They were hiding stuff because they knew that if they will open up to tell the whole truth, they will lose. It seems there was so many stories in this individual life. They couldn't. They were not brave enough to bring them to the light. And it seems as well, this individual was living in conflict in their they have so many conflict in their life if they will tell this person the whole story i believe nobody will stay with them based on how much conflict how much trouble they have problems they have in life and these problems they will build to become that mountain of conflict in our life if this is the right way to say it because there is an immature energy here, not dealing with facts one after the other. Problems and lies will build in our life when we are not really ending what we started. Most of the people, especially these immature energies, 
they will start and they will feel there is conflict. They will leave, go start something else and leave. Like they leave so many baggages around them. Thinking that if I will leave this situation and start something else, the conflict will end by itself. Well, it will not. You have to close a door, then open another one. Don't open a door, then see that there is things inside you didn't like. So you leave the door open to go and open another door. This, let's say, I will give you an example to make myself maybe clearer. I'm struggling to put my feeling in words. Let's say I will start a relationship with someone. Then after few dates, I will feel that this is not what I want. So I will not tell them that directly. I will start to run away from them, getting like, creating excuses, not answering the phone. And during this period of time, I will be attracted to someone else. So I will start to talk that someone while this energy, the past one, the ex one is still waiting, not understanding what happened. And you will open a this like a situation after the other, after the other, after the other, without closing doors. And this will bring the conflict to your life. This individual was living in a big conflict. But you entering their life, you hold it in different energy. Because of that, they were afraid that if you will know how many problems that they have in life, you will not stay. But you knew, I believe, and you left. But the love stays for both of you. You are still feeling their energy and they are still feeling your energy. I believe this is the past. This is now. This individual is coming back to your life. Ready, honest with this Knight of Cups. Now the tower is telling me that if this individual is coming to you, you didn't see this coming. You felt that this situation will never happen again, or this is a, a story you will remember for the, la the end of your life, but nothing will change. But it seems this individual was trying to clear the past to come to you with a clear energy. Let's see this card. This is you, my dear. Now flip the energy if it's other way around. The Eight of Cups is right now in the Two of Swords. Because that was really a painful situation for you. And even though if what happened between you and them was not that big, it was very painful based on the feeling that you have towards them. The more the love will be deeper, the more the pain will be stronger. And this is what happened here. I believe this Eight of Cups, the pain that they felt after they found what they found here, was very strong till the point that this individual right now is terrified to open this door one more time. This reading is telling you, my dear, if this is your reading, this individual is coming to you with an honest energy. They want you for real this time. They know that you are your, their Ten of Cups. So try, if you're still in love with them, and I believe you are, to trust that feeling. And if you are the Knight of Cups coming back to that individual, with the clear, honest energy. This reading is telling you, you have to be very patient because this individual needs time to trust. Thank you, my dear. Let's start our reading. I want to start with with you, Capricorn. Three cards for you, three cards for the energy that you are dealing with, and one outcome. The 
this is you. The energy that you are dealing with. I felt your energy the moment I stopped the beginning that reading and I believe this is your story this individual is coming back you want but you are afraid that was your energy Capricorn that was your energy Just give me a few seconds because I'm feeling a very painful, happy energy as if someone saw the love of their life after years from missing them. This is the energy that I feel from your side, Capricorn. This is the one that you felt the love for, for a very long time. And you left in the past. They are back. I feel a happiness from your side with tears. Because you didn't know how much you missed this individual. Till you saw them again in front of you. When you saw them when you will see them you will feel how much you miss them this individual has the queen of pentacles the hierophant and the nine of pentacles for you the page of wands the fool and the seven of swords you were so ready in the past to start something with this individual trying to go with the flow of life, feeling or knowing or wanting to know where this situation will take you. That individual, and I believe this is the main thing that kept you in this situation, you felt a real deep energy from this individual side. Because of that, you stayed. Because you felt the love from them and they were honest with you. They were really in love with you this queen of pentacles felt love towards you the problem is this individual was in a very big conflict in their life and facing you or trying to start something with you was if we will not say impossible almost impossible that was the past story this individual wanted to start something with you, but they couldn't. This reading is telling you this individual didn't mean to lie to you or to deceive you because they want to play. This individual was very attracted to you till the point that they felt the love from the first minute they saw you maybe or from the first, from the beginning, let's say, let's not put first or second, they felt the energy of you in their heart. But the problem is, this individual was not ready to start anything with you or with anyone else, because their life were, was a big mess. They couldn't open up to you, but they were honest with their feelings and with their wish. Then you left them and life took you different ways. Now this individual is coming back. This individual didn't forget about the situation because they knew in their heart that you are the one, Capricorn. 
This individual was preparing their life, trying to come out of that conflict, to be ready because they want to offer you a real commitment, want to be with you because they, they know that they will never be happy if you are not in their life. This is a very strong, deep soul connection in here. And I believe both of you felt it from the beginning. This individual is coming with the Hierophant energy. Real, tangible, new beginning. This individual wants the real deal with you. It's not about getting married or not, but they want you to be in their life for good. Or as long as life will give them time with you. With this fool here, you want this as well. You felt the happiness or you will feel the happiness. Feeling that life will start one more time when you will see them. Or maybe this has already happened in here. You are now fearing that this individual will come with the same energy. This deceptions, lies, not opening up, not being honest about everything in their life. Well, this individual is coming single, clear, grounded, and independent. This individual went for all these, for all this time, I don't know if this is months or years, to get ready to come back to you with the right energy. And they are here with the right energy. I know you, it's too hard for you to trust after what happened in the past. But they are here to stay. Let's see the outcome. Wow. As I told you, this individual is coming with the real offer to you. They want you in their life. For real. You and only you. And no one else but you. This reading is telling you, my dear, trust. Thank you, Capricorn. Wish you all the best, my dear. This is a beautiful reading. Beautiful. Maybe you will start your re year, the new year, with something beautiful in your life. Maybe it's time. Taurus. This is the energy that you're dealing with. And this is you. This individual Taurus was waiting for you with this cup of love for a very long time. And I believe you have something to do as well with the beginning. This individual was waiting for a very long time with this cup of love towards you. But you didn't know what to do. There was a decision needed. And you didn't take it. There was a choice, but you were not ready to pick one. You were not ready to take that decision and make your choice. Choose. So you kept holding the two situations, knowing that one day, if you will not take the decision, you will lose both. But you didn't. This individual pulled their energy away and went to that hermit mode. Trying to heal from this situation. They are still holding the light of love in their hand. But they know that this is a hopeless case. And the more this individual was pulling their energy away from you. 
the more wounded and tired you are or you become. They were going further from you and you were feeling the pain deeper in your heart. Now you are ready to offer this new beginning to them. With this high priestess, they are feeling that. But this individual will not move an inch to your side. Because I believe this individual did what they had to do long time ago. And now it's your turn. This individual is feeling your energy, knowing that you are, you want a new beginning with them. But if you think that this individual will try to come closer to you to make this situation easier on you, you are very wrong. This individual will do nothing at all. And because they did what they had to do in the past, it's your turn. Don't try to show them that you want. They will not respond. They will wait for you to come directly to the, like face to face, to tell them exactly what you want. This person will not guess. They want reality. And reality is your, in your hand. Either you offer it or sending signs will change nothing in this situation. Again, flip the energy. Maybe it's vice versa. Maybe this is you, Taurus. Take it as you feel it in your life. The emperor. There is action here. There is action. From your side, you will take the decision with this emperor here to act towards this individual. From their side, this individual will sit with this emperor energy. They will stand their ground waiting for you to come because it's your turn. This individual did everything they can in the past. If you want them, go to them. They are ready to open up to you, but you have to put the effort. Thank you, Taurus. Wish you all the best, my dear. Virgo. This is you. And this is the energy that you're dealing with. Somebody is waiting for you to take a decision. I believe this is a story for a Virgo who knows that this individual is a good option, but they don't really have feelings. Like somebody came to you with an offer of love or a relationship or trying something, and they have everything logically to be the perfect match. But the heart is not working from your side. You are not feeling this individual energy. Like on paper, this is the best guy or lady ever. They have everything to be the right person for you. But the heart wants what it wants. And your heart is not beating faster for this individual. And this is what's putting you in this Nine of Swords. You are so tensed and not knowing what to do, thinking logically about the situation, 
by logic, you are, you are finding out that it's a crazy to let this offer down and not to accept it. Rejecting this individual logically is stupid. This individual is holding the hierophant energy, the hanged man, and the star. They want something real with you. They are hanged, waiting for your decision. And they are still hoping that you will accept. This individual is very clear on what they want. The problem is here. This two of swords, my dear, is the battle between your mind and your heart. You don't know what to do. You are thinking about this situation. Shall I go forward with this? This individual will make me happy because they love me and they are ready to do anything if I will accept. But I don't. And I'm not feeling the love towards them. This is a good option. But this is not the one, my dear. And this battle between your heart and your mind is going on and on till the point that you feel tired. This reading it will make this situation easy on you. I will give you the answer based on what I'm seeing here. You will leave. You are not staying. You will not accept this individual offer. Because... Accepting the offer based on you not having feelings will make you miserable in this situation and on the long term will make this individual miserable as well. You don't have the right to accept an offer from someone only because this is a good option for you. This individual as well deserve love. And they will not get it from you because you don't have it. What you will do, my dear, is the right decision. Maybe this is a good option, the best option. But this is not the one. This is not the one for you and you are not the one for them. Maybe now they think that if they will deal with you more, if they will spend more time with you, you will fall in love with them. This is will never happen. Because even if you will not be deeply in love in the beginning with someone, there is signs will tell you that there is a potential here. You don't have any sign in here. You know that you will not love them. Maybe you will respect them. You will get used to them. But there is no love here. Let's see the outcome of this. These are the options for you and for them. Even though if they are right option and they are waiting for you to accept, but this is a wrong situation. One day, you will regret being with them and they will regret being with you. You are doing the right thing to do, my dear. This is the right choice. There is options in life. You will find your person. This is not your person. Well, this is what I have for you, my dear. Thank you so much for being with me. Wish you all the best. I hope this was a helpful reading in a way. Thanks again for all the love and the support. Have an awesome day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.